Pennsylvania is famous for a lot of things. George Washington and Valley Forge. The Battle of Gettysburg. The Pittsburgh Steelers. Even condiments. And something you might not have considered. Racing. Sprint car racing. But it's not just the racers who are part of the scene at Williams Grove Speedway. There's a devoted batch of fans who call themselves the Beer Hill Gang that are just as much a part of the show as the cars themselves. Their spot is a standing room only section between the grandstands in turn three. Every time sprint cars are on hand, especially the invaders of the World of Outlaws series, the gang is out in force, sometimes numbering over 100, to support what's called the Pennsylvania Posse. The Beer Hill Gang, which has been in existence for six years, sponsors car washes, 50-50 raffles, and a chili cook-off to help support local drivers. They sell decals, stickers, and t-shirts. The gang even has its own website. So how do you join the gang? Simple. Buy a t-shirt that sports the group's motto, beer, friends, and four tens. Four tens referring to the 410 cubic inch cars that are the top class in sprint car racing. Their pride in the posse is legendary. The outlaws, you see, even outlaws officials, are viewed as enemy combatants. Especially in Pennsylvania, it is so strong, we have probably the strongest local competition that the advanced world of outlaws will face all year long. Uh, most other places where we roll into town, the people come out to see the outlaws. When we get to Pennsylvania, the people come to see the outlaws get beat. It's kind of like being the visiting team and going into somebody's home stadium. Lucas Wolf was a Williams Grove regular before joining the outlaws in 2008. He's one of the drivers who's been sponsored by the Beer Hill Gang through the years. Well, they do a tremendous job of different stuff. Obviously, we were uh, disappointed that we had to uh, kind of separate a little bit there, but I've remained very good friends with the majority of them. So it's uh, definitely a relationship we'll probably have for a long time with most of them. You know, now they moved on to somebody else. So. The gang said reigning outlaws champion Donnie Schatz adds a unique spice to a tour of more than 75 races from Florida to western Canada, including three visits to the Grove. Oh, that's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, that's uh, one thing in racing. You're going to have some people love you and some people love to hate you. So um, it's been uh, been a lot of fun to get to know a lot of them people. I've actually got to stand with them on the front straightaway here a lot. They always uh, get into victory lane, so it's a, it's a fun deal. And, you know, they have quite a party, I guess. Uh, they, they make a pretty great atmosphere. And, um, hey, they're here watching the races, and that's what's most important. So. For members of the gang, it's more than simply a following. Pretty much we work all week for Friday night to drink beer and come here and have a good time and watch some good fashion, good old fashioned dirt track racing. Whether it's outlaws, locals, but all I know is that the PA Posse will kick any of these guys' butts any day of the oh, week. Here we go. That's all I know. <laughs> here we go. How now about it, you're feeding, Harris. Oh no. Oh. To 20 year old Marlena Morales of York Springs, being part of the gang takes precedence over everything, and she means everything. It's my life, my boyfriend's life. We don't miss this. Family things going on? Sorry, you know, we're, we're here. We're if it's here. a holiday? It doesn't matter. I'm sorry, a wedding? I'm going to have to miss it because I'm coming to the races. This is what we do. I tell you what, they pitch in a lot, you know, a lot more than what we expected. And, uh, you know, they're, they're a good group of guys. They help out the sport a bunch. Terry McCarl is one of the most successful sprint car racers in the country with multiple track championships at Knoxville Raceway in his home state of Iowa and across the South Dakota border at Houston Speedway, one of the most outgoing drivers on the Outlaws Tour. McCarl says the members of the Beer Hill Gang are his favorite kind of folks, die-hard race fans. Well, in fact, when I won my feature here a couple years ago, I had their sticker on my car. Uh, so maybe that's the secret to it. I need to get another one of those. But, but now they're all, anyone who's a sprint car fan, I like them. Whether they like me or not, I like anyone who's a sprint car fan. And then that's part of what makes this place and uh, this place what it is, uh, is the fans like that. I mean, the guys out here camping already. You get here at 3 o'clock and they're already camping and got stuff going on. And to me, that's what makes uh, these events and that's what makes it a fun place to come. Basically, anything you can think of from uh, T-shirts with uh, special slogans made up just for the race weekend to, uh, you know, a health healthy dose of booze when the outlaw drivers are announced on the racetrack. It's just, uh, it's a very festive and competitive atmosphere, and actually I think it's good for the sport. I think the rivalry is something that has helped sprint car racing gain more national attention.